Welcome to day 542 of our Web3 journey. I'm Ed Krasenstein here with my twin brother Brian. And remember, these videos are being sponsored by NFT Tech. They are an investor in DeSoFi. And DeSoFi is a Web3 mobile app built on the DeSo blockchain. So before we get into today's big DeSo news and talk about what's coming, I guess we can say tomorrow, what's happening with the crypto markets, Brian? Yeah, so Bitcoin's down. Uh, it was down as much as 1500 dollars over the last 24 hours at, at one point this morning it's bounced back slightly since then uh, I, I think it's mainly just an overall market condition problem uh, the u.s markets are down uh, continue to drop uh, on inflation worries on fed worries that that the fed may keep raising rates uh, more than expected uh, ether Ethereum, it was down to the high 1200s at one point early this morning. It's bounced back to the low 1300s, uh, but the, the merge certainly didn't have the impact that a lot of people expected. I mean, I'm sure some people expected a sort of sell the news type of atmosphere, but it's, it's down significantly from the highs that we saw just a week or so ago uh, when the excitement about the merge was really all over the place. But I, I think that it's we're kind of in a holding pattern here. The, the Dow, the US markets, uh, it's near near lows that we saw back in June, uh, like around the $30,000 mark for the Dow is, is about where we dropped to back in June. So it's going to be interesting to see if we can hold there. If we do, it could act as support for the market, which could act as support for crypto as well, because Bitcoin of course, dropped to around 17,500 back in June as well. So we'll see. Uh, I think it's like, like I said, a holding pattern. We're going to see what happens. Uh, it could be driven by news. It could be driven by technicals. We'll see. Yeah. And, you know, like, I don't know if Ethereum is really playing a role in this overall crash, I guess you could call it, or if it's just the overall markets, like you said. But I think we'll kind of see things stabilize. At least I hope we do. Um, nobody can tell for sure, though. You know, it's just yeah. hard to tell. So yeah. I guess we can move on to DSO. And today, today is supposed to be the huge DSO day. So today is supposed to be the day that MetaMask integration takes place. And the social layer hard fork is what will be doing it. But according to the block, it's going to happen on block 16,066. Or no, 166,066. And right now we're at block 165,874. So it looks like it might not happen until to early tomorrow morning. According to Open Prosper, we're looking at about 1.43 a.m. tomorrow morning. This, is, this has been changing, though, so it could be moved back. It could be moved forward a little bit, but it doesn't seem like it's going to happen today. After all, it seems like it's going to happen early tomorrow Well, it, it depends what time zone you're in, too, I guess, right? Yeah, I'm going by Eastern time. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited. I, I think that... MetaMask integration with the DSO blockchain has the potential to really kind of blow things up if they market it in the right way. And I, I think they do probably have a strong marketing plan. But if you're able to log into DSO with a MetaMask account, just how those dynamics are going to work, I guess we're going to have to wait to find out. Uh, but, but but what do you think, Ed? Yeah, like so, I mean, if you have a MetaMask account, I imagine you just log right into DSO. Uh, once this new fork, hard fork hits, you just, you know, go to, go to DSO, click on login, connect, whatever, and then you're going to have the option to use MetaMask. And if you're signed in MetaMask, it will just basically be instant. Uh, you'll probably have to approve it. Now, as far as what happens once you do this, does it just by default give you a DSO wallet address or does it give you your own or does it just use your Ethereum address? I don't know. I don't know exactly how that's going to work. I imagine going to ask you to create a username uh, and fill out your profile info. But but before that takes place, I don't know if you're being assigned a DSO username, I mean a DSO wallet address or an Ethereum wallet address. Uh, maybe a coder around around here could answer. Uh, M. Van Halen, Conchi, Brutal, Tyne, maybe one of you guys can chime in with what actually does take place. Yeah, and, and I, I think that's going to matter somewhat. I, I think it, we want as easy, as uh, as unrestricted access to DSO as possible. We we want to make sure that people can get on here uh, with just a few clicks of a button, a few 
the connect button, quickly log in, and hopefully they're on diesel. Yeah, exactly. And it's going to be exciting tomorrow. So I, I'm going to be anxious to see what happens when I wake up in the morning. Yeah, and we're working on a few things for tomorrow. Hopefully they go as planned uh, for our show tomorrow. But uh, hopefully we have a, a nice surprise tomorrow on the show. Uh, I know that NFTZ, we're working hard. We really are going to embrace the uh, integration of MetaMask. I'm sure a lot of other nodes and applications that are built on the DSO blockchain are excited about what this could mean because apps like Story or apps like Pearl, uh, this instantly should give them quite a stream of new users that could possibly come on. Uh, because if you if they can integrate with MetaMask as well, which they should be able to through the uh, DSO identity uh, that connects with MetaMask, I think that that's going to really give them a boost. It opens the market up to a whole lot of people, yeah, hundreds of thousands. Really be, I think it's going to be pretty seamless. You know, you come to NFTZ, you come to any of the other nodes, you just connect, log in, connect, whatever the node wants to use. You click on that and you're just going to be able to connect through MetaMask and then you're logged into that site so or that app. So I'm excited yeah. for it. I, I, I think it's, it's big. I, I just don't, I don't want to get too ahead of ourselves. I know like in the past, obviously this is day 542 for us on DSO. And throughout those 542 days, we've gotten really excited about a whole lot of stuff. And, and the excitement kind of fizzled, uh, not because the technology wasn't great, but just because it's hard to break into new markets and it's hard to get people excited when there is a limited marketing, uh, I guess, presence right now. So the technology we're super excited about, we'll see what it means for daily active users. And that's the metric that I really want to follow here over the course of the next several weeks to see if daily active users will rise. Yeah, definitely. And DSO yesterday, they released a promo video. Uh, they posted on both DSO and on Twitter. It's short, but sweet. And it's very much to the point. Did you have a chance to watch it, Brian? I did. Uh, it's, it's short. Uh, I'm going to play it right now, actually. Five corporations control social media. They own your name. They restrict your content. They monetize your every move. And their time is up. The decentralization of social is here. So what are your thoughts, Ed? I liked it. I think, you know, it, it gets your attention. It lets you know that we don't have to rely on these five huge companies, centralized companies to control social media. We can actually do it ourselves through decentralization. And I, I think people are going to slowly realize that it is the future of social media. We want to have a decentralized ecosystem. And I, I think people, I, people are going to realize it, I just think. Yeah, and it's a great video, a short, sweet. I, I hope that they have some videos lined up maybe for the MetaMask integration. They can start promoting that. And of course, the Masari mainnet uh, that Matter is going to be at speaking. Uh, he, I'm guessing this video is going to roll out there as well. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm thinking too. Uh, again, if you can attend, that, that'll be awesome. Um, Matter speaking, and there's also a booth at the event, so a DSO booth. Yeah, so let's move on to the top NFT bidders on the DSO blockchain over the last 24 hours. Uh, since there wasn't a whole lot of news, there's a whole lot to be looking forward to. But over the weekend, it was things were a bit quiet as we prepare for some fireworks, hopefully. So the top NFT bidders, these people bid the most on the most NFTs on the DSO blockchain over the last day. They are as follows, and this list is thanks to NFTZ. Diamond VC, Studio Richards, Meta Philosopher, Mr. Music, Pro Crusties, Mythica, MJL Michael, That 70s Robot, Big Mike R35, and Disruptor. And the top diamond day creators over the last 24 hours, according to our friend at Alton Base, these people receive the most diamonds or tips on their posts and replies on the DSO blockchain are as follows. DSO Munt. Sean Slater, Goldberry, Michelle Lord, Pixel Robot, Boops Boutique, It's Aditya, Be It Me Not You, Studio Richards, and Polly Hart. And today's events, thanks once again to Miss Katie Ann for providing the list. At 1 p.m. Eastern Time on Vibe Hut is Beta Trade Review with one Dolinsky. Then 3 p.m. Eastern Time on Entre is Metaverse Mondays with Landon Messerve. 
Uh, and at 8 p.m. Eastern Time is Investor Office Hours live on Entra with Michael Mara and angel investor Scott Kalick. So if you have time, check out those events. Tomorrow's going to be a huge, huge day on DSO. I'm Get super excited. excited. Yeah. And that's all the news we have for today. I know it's a short show today, but tomorrow should be much more in-depth. Uh, and everybody have a great rest of your Monday, and we'll talk to you tomorrow.